What's up guys, it's your favorite Kiwi Coach. Welcome back to another video. This is gonna be another professional golf analysis versus analysis, I guess you can call it. Bryson DeChambeau versus Rio Ishikawa. Let's go do this thing. But before we get into this analysis, I wanna give a quick shout out to our sponsor and that is Kiwi Golf Japan. If you're looking to learn about golf in a virtual setting because you're too busy to actually come out to lessons, well, Kiwi Golf Japan is the membership site for you. If you're looking to learn about curvatures such as slices, hooks, draws, all that good stuff, that is on the membership site. If you're struggling with your contact, we also have videos about that on the membership site as well. And really anything that you would wanna have about golf instruction is gonna be on that membership site. So make sure to go check out the link down below, sign up, it's gonna help support this channel. We can continue to make videos for you guys. And with that out of the way, let's get into this analysis. So let's start this video off by talking about why I'm actually creating this video. So I'm not creating this video to kind of diss on Rio Ishikawa's golf swing. More so, one of you guys, or one of our members, wanted to talk about how they can get rid of that hip slide in transition with their driver. And I think that Rio Ishikawa definitely has a huge hip slide in transition versus a Bryson DeChambeau does not have that. So I think these two players definitely represent um, a hip slide versus a non-hip slide. So it'll be really easy for you guys to see the differences and hopefully it's gonna help you actually cure that hip slide in transition. So before we get into the transition and that hip slide, I do wanna talk about the takeaway section and then when the hands get level the shoulder on the backswing, that section as well. Then we'll get into the transition and the hip slide and then from there, ultimately we'll finish up with P5 into the golf ball and kind of see the differences between the body movements of these two players. So let's go start off with the takeaway and let's go take uh, Ryo Ishikawa to right around the takeaway section here. So we take Rio to the takeaway section. Uh, one of the main things I want to highlight is going to be his pelvis movement. So if we take a look here, the left side of his pelvis is definitely lower than the right side of the pelvis. And the reason why this might be an issue is if you get the left side of the pelvis lower than the right, you're only going to be able to rotate your rib cage a certain amount before it can't rotate anymore. Versus if you keep the left side of the pelvis higher than the right side of the pelvis, you can actually rotate your rib cage a lot more compared to when the left side is lower than the right side of the pelvis. Now also on top of this, he does a few other motions in the swing that I think is also hindering his rib cage and pelvis rotation. So let me highlight that right now. So one of the key movements that's gonna be hindering his rib cage rotation is kind of this meeting of the cap rotation movement. As you can see, Ryo Ishikawa is pretty much looking straight down at the golf ball, which the neck is attached to the spine. So the rib cage will only be able to move a certain amount before the spine, or sorry, the neck has to also rotate to keep that rotation going. If you don't move your neck or you don't rotate that meeting of the cap, your rib cage will only be limited to a certain amount of degrees of rotation and it's not gonna be enough to get a really powerful golf swing. Also on top of that, because his left side of the pelvis is lower than the right, we're gonna see that Rio Ishikawa has a little bit of a reverse pivot going on right here. So if we take a look at the belt buckle relative to the sternum, we're gonna see that the sternum is actually more towards the target than his belt buckle, right? So that is gonna be the reverse pivot look and it's very common for someone who keeps the left side of the pelvis lower than the right side at this particular point in the golf swing. All right, so to give you guys a reference of more so the modern pivot, let's go take a look at Bryson DeChambeau. So first, let's go take a look at the pelvis movement and we go draw an angle. We're gonna see that the left side of the pelvis is higher than the right side of the pelvis. Again, this is something that you're seeing in the modern pivots and it's something that you don't see a lot of Japanese pros do. Now with that left side of the pelvis higher than the right, you can now rotate your pelvis a lot more and your rib cage a lot more and you're gonna be able to have a lot better pivot because of that. Also on top of this, if we go take a look at the meeting of the cap, we can see that Bryson's has rotated a lot more than let's say a Rio Ishikawa has at this particular point. And that's also gonna allow him to rotate the rib cage a lot more, as well as the pelvis a lot more. And then last but not least, if we go take a look at kind of his sternum relative to the belt buckle angle, we're gonna see that his sternum is behind the belt buckle, which is more so what you want with driver. You don't wanna be having that reverse pivoted look at this position too, because somewhere on the downswing or somewhere on the backswing, you're gonna have to reverse that if you're gonna to wanna to be able to hit up on the golf ball. All right, the next position I wanna take a look at is gonna be when the hands get right around the shoulder height. So we're gonna see more of the same. So I'm gonna highlight the same uh, positions that we looked at before. So if we go take a look at the left side of the pelvis, it's still lower than the right side of the pelvis at this particular point. We're gonna see also that the median of the cap has not rotated that much. So he's still pretty much looking at the golf ball here. And then from there, the sum of all that is we're gonna see that the sternum is still behind the belt buckle. So 
he's got a little bit of that reverse pivot look here. If we go take a look at Bryson DeChambeau, we're gonna see a completely different look at this particular point in the golf swing. If we take a look at Bryson DeChambeau, we're gonna see that the left side of the pelvis is still higher than the right side of the pelvis here. We're also gonna see that the median of the cap has rotated a lot more than Rio's has at this particular point. And then the sum of all that, we're gonna see that the sternum is still behind the belt buckle, right? Which is exactly where you wanna be with driver. Now, some other noticeable differences at this point of the golf swing is gonna be the knee positions between these two players. If you take a look at Rio's right here, the kneecap is still kind of pointing this way, which means it hasn't externally rotated at this point. If you don't externally rotate that kneecap, you're not gonna be able to extend the knee as well as you're not gonna be able to rotate the pelvis as much as you want. If we go take a look at Bryson's at this particular point, we're gonna see that Bryson's has rotated. If we take a look at where it's pointing, it's kind of pointing somewhere right around here. Now, also, if we take a look at the lead knee, we're gonna see that Rio Ishikawa's lead knee hasn't really kicked into internal rotation versus a Bryson DeChambeau's who has kicked in a lot into internal rotation, a very much kind of old school Ben Hogan type of look. Now, also from the down the line view, which you guys will see here a little bit later on this analysis with Rio Ishikawa, his knee, his lead knee has moved towards the golf ball, but again, it hasn't kicked into that internal rotation. That knee moving in towards the golf ball is also another key reason why his pelvis is so tilted here and why he's getting this reverse pivoted look, which again, is not what you want with driver. All right, the next thing I wanna take a look at is gonna be this transition move, because this is kind of that hip slide that I was talking about earlier in the beginning of this video. If we take a look at Rio Ishikawa, we can really see it quite clearly that hip slide so right around from this position to this position the hips have slid out way in front of him as well we'll talk about here in a sec the knee has moved way out into external rotation which I think is not very good we'll talk about that though 